Alright guys, we have a teleport glitch. Bam! Look at that. A legit teleport glitch. Watch this video to learn how. What's up guys? It's your boy Rad Screen. I'm, uh, I'm here with my uh, friend Dark Void. Um, and he has an amazing teleport glitch we're going to show you guys. So he's going to show you how to build this. Um, as far as I know, he is the first person who ever found this glitch. Um, he found it back when there was a quest with Bobby. And, uh, you know, you had to fight the big duck and everybody got swords and you were able to do this with the swords. And apparently this is the reason why Chill Joe had to take this out of the game. Because you can use the sword, or in this case a candy cane, to actually teleport to another location in the game. Um, so he's going to show us how to set that up. So you just build a structure like this. Um, really you only need a post, but we're going to do something cool with this here in a minute to give you a few demonstrations. Um, so, you stand up on the post and you pull your candy cane out. And you have to have a friend with you to do it. You can't do it by yourself. Um, you have to have them anchor your candy cane to the post. Now it'll do all this with anchor turned off and they'll use a seat, one of the wooden seats, and they'll place it right on the side where your candy cane is. And uh, that will cause you to flip upside down. But when you flip upside down, your candy cane is going to be locked in place. So he's going to go ahead and put that seat on there now. Now you see my candy cane is anchored to the block, so you, you click on your candy cane to put it away. And uh, when you put it away, it will release you from the anchored block. So you click on that there, and you see now I'm free. And now, anywhere that I go, wherever that seat is, I will teleport straight to the seat. Not to the post, but I'll teleport to the seat, because that's where the candy cane is locked in. So you see what I'm going to do? I'm going to come over here and I'll go ahead and I'll pull my candy cane back out. And, bam, teleported. And you can see the words are still, the chat bubble is still on the screen, so you can see that I literally just teleported right there. Um, that's just really cool. You can, you can anchor as many people as long as you want to do different seats to anchor them on. Fast forward, we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you where I uh, ate the dark to the post. He gets this candy cane out and now he's connected to it. Now you'll see, you can watch it just teleporting. He'll run away from it and he'll teleport straight back to it. So, this is an awesome, awesome glitch. Um, now we, we're going to test a few things in this video, so stick around and watch. Um, I hope you guys like what we got going on. There's also, um, if you remove the bottom block, and you stay anchored to it. Oh, he, he clicked it. So don't throw the candy cane. Don't press the attack button with the candy cane. Um, that can mess it up. Let me see if I can get on here and fix this. There you go. Um, okay, yeah, let me go ahead and I'm gonna teleport onto it and see if I can get it out of the ground. I'll just cycle through a little bit. Alright. There we go. There we go. Alright, so you can see I'm anchored to it and uh, I have full control. I can move it around, you know. Just like you can do with other anchor glitches that we've shown in the past. And your friend can teleport to you. So wherever you go with it, it doesn't matter how far away you get from your friend, they can teleport straight to your location, wherever that seat is. Alright, I'm going to take it from the water, and we're going to show you... Uh, can be useful over there also. Now, uh, if you die, 
you'll have to re-anchor the chair with your candy cane because if you die, you won't teleport anymore. So you can't die. <laughs> um, but you see, he's over there in the water. He's about to die. Oh, teleport! Now he's back. And uh, you know, there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. Um, we're gonna test a few things and see about getting gold and you know, maybe teleport to the end. See how that works. So. I'm gonna go downstream here. So while I'm going down here, I uh, just want to tell everybody, please click like, please click subscribe. Um, I've, I've had a great following. I really appreciate all the support from you guys. I just, just cleared a thousand subscribers. So that's a big shout out to all of you. Um, really appreciate the support. I got a, a merchandise store. You can go to the Rad Hangout and you can actually see an interactive merchandise store at that game. Uh, I've got a link to that in the description. Also, there's just a link to the catalog items that I have available, too. Um, also, uh, you can join my group. I've got a group page. So, you can stay in touch with me there. I can't add anybody to my friends list right now. My friends list is full. Um, so, definitely get on that group page, and we can talk there. Also, if you go on Discord, I have a Discord server. Um, so, you can also join my server, and we can chat there also. Uh, it's a good way to, you know, keep in touch. So yeah, just uh, join my Discord server and uh, make sure you click on subscribe. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to see, he says this goes through black walls, so we're going to see if I can get through the black walls here. I mean, I'm anchored, but there's not a block in my body. There's a block that's anchored to a gear that I'm holding, the candy cane. So, in theory, I should be able to get through the black wall without exploding. Um, and if I can, I'm going to have him teleport to me on the other side of the black wall. So let's see how this works. Alright, here we go. Keep your fingers crossed. Oh my god, I made it through the black wall. Yeah, okay, so this goes through black wall. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have him teleport now. And we'll see if he can teleport straight through me. And it works. So yeah, he can teleport anywhere. Alright, here's a little, uh, little montage of sorts. I'm going to set up this TIE Fighter and fly it to the end. So we're both anchoring ourselves with our candy cane so that we can teleport to it. And uh, I'm going to take it and fly it to the end. Alright, we're launching now. Uh, I'm going to fly to the end and we're going to see what happens if you teleport all the way to the end of the map. So we're going to fast forward real quick here in just a second. I'm not going to make you watch the whole flight. Alright, we're coming up on the beach. Let me go ahead and get down to the ground level. I'm going to have him teleport. Hopefully he doesn't take control of the TIE Fighter since he'll be uh, anchored to my blocks. And there he is. He just appeared. He just teleported all the way from Blackface. And struggling to control it. Hold on, let me get it back here. Alright, he jumped off. So we're gonna see what happens when he gets the treasure chest. And... Okay, he died. So it's just like if he flew over the top or took any other glitch to the end. So you can teleport all the way to the end. It just doesn't do you any good. We got one more thing I want to test. We're going to test and see if it can break through the isolation mode barrier. Um, I'm on white team, Dark Void is on black team. So I ran over to his base and I'm having him anchor me here. And I'm going to run back to my base and I'm going to have him turn isolation mode on. And we're going to see if I can teleport inside of his base. That's going to be so cool if this works. Almost there. 
I'm telling him to turn on isolation mode now. So you can see he's still over there and the post is down there. Yeah, I want you to yes, turn on isolation mode. And when he does, I'm going to teleport straight to him. Hopefully. We're going to see what happens. Isolation mode zone. I don't know what's going to happen. It's on. And it worked. Alright, so I'm definitely in his face. Um, we'll do a couple more things to demonstrate that isolation mode is turned on. Uh, let me see. Wow, I can't believe that just teleported through isolation mode. That's pretty cool. What? Okay, I can't get out of his base. Um, Okay, so the invisible walls for isolation mode have me trapped in his base right now. Um, I, I'm stuck. He can go in and out, but I'm stuck. Okay, now I'm going to test something else. I'm going to have him launch me into the water using isolation mode. And while I'm in the water, I'm going to teleport back. I want to see if, you know... Plus, it's another demonstration that isolation mode is turned on. Yep, there we go. And I'm back. That simple. <laughs> wow, that really worked. So that's cool. Lots of cool stuff you can do with this teleport glitch. Um, tell me what you guys think about it. Alright, everybody, thanks for watching. I want to give a big shout out to uh, Dark Void. His username is xxdarkvoid, or xx4darkvoid4xx. That's also his uh, YouTube channel name. Go ahead and check him out on YouTube. I'm, I'm going to put a link in the description so that you can uh, check out his channel. Make sure you subscribe to him. He's got some good content on there. Um, yeah, big shout out and a big thanks to him for uh, sharing this with us. He already put out a video on it, but I wanted to bring it to you guys. So. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's a really fun glitch to play with. Um, you can't use it to farm gold or grind gold or anything like that. But you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. So make sure you check it out. And, uh, you know, drop me a like. Put a comment down below if you've got any cool ideas of things you can do with the teleport glitch. And uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you can see all my content as it's dropped. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, as you just said, well, I can't believe you can really teleport. Make sure you do this before the, uh, the bossy dunk's gone, because it's only going to work while the candy canes are around. Peace out, guys.